Hey everybody, decided to take a quick trip out in the desert near the area I live in just to take advantage of this wonderful weather we're having the past couple days. I do hear some thunder off in the distance in that direction, so I don't know how much time we have to be out here. But yeah, uh, we were out here just riding around on the ATV and I kind of spotted the top of something off in the distance. I found the trail to get out here. I don't know what to make of this place. I wouldn't really call it a homestead, but maybe, I don't know, a hideout? I mean, we are close to the US-Mexico border. It's a few miles uh, behind me, so I'm gonna approach this with caution. Ladder going up to the roof. Let's take a look. Oh, nice. Kind of get a view of the East Patrillo Mountains, and that pyramid looking mountain behind the East Patrillos is actually Mount Riley. It's an old, uh, it's an old volcano. Let's... Hello? there's anybody in here let's take a look around I mean it does look like they're setting up stuff out here to potentially live out here I'm not sure but this is bizarre I mean yeah look there's the bathroom with a view I mean there's miscellaneous building equipment out here so I mean, it looks like they were digging a hole that could, probably could have been an outhouse. Just never got around to it. But yeah, that, that van right there has California tags on it, and it looks old. It looks like it's from that era, from that show MacGyver. It's got like the same style uh, California license plates. But yeah, let's take a look inside. The uh, door is open. And right away... Welcome with, oh, this has a basement. That's interesting. Let's see here. Let's see how this floor is. Been on worse. But yeah, there's a rubber snake there. And <laughs> looks like they set up a mannequin to scare off people from coming in here, I guess. I would assume migrants, they do come out here for shelter. We are out in the middle of the desert, just a couple miles east of here. There's one of those uh, Border Patrol rescue beacons. Uh, we'll pass by it. I'll get a shot of it for you on the way out. But yeah, I mean, this looks like a, a hangout spot. What does that date say? Yeah, 2019. So it's somebody's been out here fairly recently. Some hand painted pictures. That's just creepy. But I guess that's breakfast. Campo Azul Selecto Reposado Tequila. Some vitamin C. Let's go down in this basement. I just feel like they're shelving parts they're not really meant for flooring but this looks like it's a uh, stairs for like at a retail store when you get up to the higher shelves make sure there's no snakes down here oh wow it's drastically cooler in here they have an old furnace right there the cast iron it actually kind of smells like a dog kennel now Anybody knows what that smell is like, it's kind of odd. But yeah, we're in the ground here. That's weird. It's like they stuck a five gallon bucket inside the wall of this basement. Baby Rattler. You know, I'm, I'm leaving this stuff alone because you know, it doesn't belong to me. And check the land status map. Well, this entire area and it's all 
managed by the BLM, so I don't know the purpose of building something like this out here. It looks like it's like a, a hideaway, like a hideout. Maybe for like weekend warriors. That's real spongy. Whoa, yeah, that kind of woke me up there. What kind of music taste? Ah, Steely Dan. Nice. All right, well, let's lock this up get a quick look around let's just put this against the door to keep any critters from going in a little bit more there we go and there's just lizards everywhere out here after all these recent rains we've gotten we've we're starting to see the desert come to life we're at the edge of a volcanic field there's a few uh, craters out here that are mar, mar volcanoes, one of them being Kilbourne Hold. Mar volcanoes are where lava touches the groundwater, the water table, flash boils it, and then it explodes. And I believe in the 70s, the Apollo mission from NASA, they're out here doing training for walking on the moon because it's all volcanic and it kind of resembles, I guess, the topography of the moon. Well, yeah, this is the back side of this hideout, this shack, and it's just, it looks like it was just never finished, just a work in progress. Well, yeah, this is just a really bizarre place. I think that's all there is to see, so let's go find some other odd places. All right, so off in the background, that's that shack we just left from. But as we're leaving, this looks like teepees, but I think they're going to build a giant bonfire out here. I mean, there's just tons of wood just laying around all the way down this trail. And typically when you set up wood like that, that's got to be about 12 feet tall, that bigger one. And they're sticking cardboard all inside. They're going to build a huge fire out here. For what reason, I don't know. Yeah, there's there's a gas can right there. Right there. Now here in the wintertime, it does get chilly, but it doesn't warrant a fire being built this big. So they're probably going to signal people, hey, we're over here. But I have no idea why. All right, so I'm facing south. Uh, probably about four to six miles you can barely see the border fence along the horizon over there that black line that's the boundary between the United States and Mexico and right behind me are these new additions out here out in the desert these rescue beacons during the day these uh, mirrors they glisten under the sunlight and on the very top is a beacon that blinks at night and there's some radio antennas up there but as you can see there's these warning signs you cannot walk to safety from this point you're in danger of dying if you do not summon help it's in spanish too and then if you need help you need to push this red button and border patrol will show up in about an hour and there's the button but yeah, pretty crazy. All right, that'll about wrap it up on this short trip. Thanks for watching.